I did a couple things here since our last video. I gave the set a better name. And one of these sets I want to fill up with multiples of two, the other one with multiples of three. So the set of multiples of two, I call it set twos. Set with multiples of three, I call it set threes. How did I fill it up? Well, I started at zero, uh, went until I is uh, not less than 20. And for the first one, I just did I equals I plus two. So it's gonna go zero, two, four, six, eight, et cetera, up to 18. You see that output right here, up to 18. And then I printed out the set of twos and you see it right here at the bottom. Now you look at the order and it's a little bit different. Well, it's a lot different because the order, remember, doesn't matter anymore with sets. So you can't look at this order and expect there to be any consistency down here. Uh, what happens next, I do the same thing, but I go up by three each time. So I call it set threes. All right, and print that out. So these are just some for loops that just go through. And then I created three new sets down here. And one of them's called intersection and one's called union and one's called difference. And we're gonna go ahead and make the union intersection and difference here. There's a few ways to do it, depending on who you, which videos you watch. So we're gonna set two, oops, I don't wanna set it equal. No, union dot add all. This will work for any collection, but it will work for a set because the set is a collection. Add all. And I want to add all of set twos. And we're going to do the same thing, except threes. And then we're going to print out what's in the union. Sout tab. Here we go. Remember, it won't be in order. So the course will be annoying. So there should be all the multiples of two and three. And it's not going to throw in duplicates. We saw that in the earlier video. So zeros, of course, in both sets, but it's not gonna show up here. I don't wanna keep printing this out. Let's go knock those lines out. Clean up our output. Okay, so there's our union. Okay, intersection. How are we gonna do that? Well, we've already got everything in the union, so we can do intersection. Go intersection. I don't want to go intersection equals union because then we we'll only have one set. So let's go intersection dot add all. And I'm going to add everything from the union. So we're just going to throw everything in to that. Now I want to remove, let's see, intersection. I only want what's in both. I think I may have already screwed up. Yeah, I think we added too many. So we go add all set of the twos. And now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna remove all, but we're not gonna, now if I did remove all set of twos, I would get nothing in there, get the empty set. So we're gonna remove all the threes. And you might be thinking, oh, well there's, we didn't add all the threes in. Yeah, we definitely didn't add all the threes in, but Let's see, here's a union. So it's gonna remove three, cause three is in both the twos and the three set. I really wish this is an order now, but it's not. Uh, the next thing, six is in both. So it'll six is gonna get added in by this add all, and six will get removed by this remove all. So we'll just sout one more time. Intersection is intersection f6 here we go so there should be everything that is not a multiple of two and three so 16 is not a multiple of three two is not a multiple of three four is not a multiple of three ooh got a slight problem Oh, my brain's not smart enough to figure this out right now. All right, that's okay. This was not the main point of this lecture series. I just wanted to show you some cool stuff. So I'm gonna direct you back to that same Java point website. And here is intersections and unions. And they just built it right in the constructor. They just filled it up with one of the sets. So they kind of saved a line of code right there. 
Ah, retain all. That's what I should have been doing. All right, so I was going to get the difference. I think what we did is a difference right there it was the remove all. Uh, oh, so let's just go right back to the retain all. Add all retain all. Here we are, intersection. So these are multiples of two and three. <clears throat> so we got six and multiple two and three, 12 multiple two and three, 18 is multiple two and three. Uh, and zeros multiple two and three. Mathematically, these are multiples of six, but that's not really important for this application right here. It's just a fun math fact. Uh, so I've already given away the uh, difference. So you can go and do that. But what we had on the output earlier was a difference. You just do a remove all after you did an add all and you'll have uh, intersections, unions, and differences of elements here. This would be much more annoying to do if I was trying to do with the indexes and for loops and all that by looping over arrays. Uh, arrays do have some of these nice methods as well, but if, again, if you're wanting to just see if an element is in uh, a collection or not, a set is a great one to use, and I did show you how to get a random one out and, of course, remove it as well.